Hello friends, this is part 4 of solution of paper 3, C3, Dibrugarh University, second semester, physics major, and uh, electricity and magnetism. So today we're gonna solve question number 5, right, we have solved up to question number 4, and previous lectures are in the given, uh, you know, are given in the description box. So now let's say start solving from question number 5A. So state ampere circuit law and apply it to find the magnetic field at the center of long current carrying solenoid. Okay. So let me give you the statement of this uh, ampere circuit law. So let me write question number 5A answer. So amperes. circuit law states that states that the line the line integral the line integral of a magnetic field uh, of the magnetic field of the magnetic field magnetic field this is given by b around a closed curve around a closed around a closed curve is equal to is equal to mu naught times the net current I through the area through the area through the area bounded by the curve bounded by the curve so mathematically we can express this way right mu naught times i so where mu naught this mu naught is the permeability of free space right so this is the statement now what is the next part of the question here you see apply it to find the magnetic field at a at the center of long solenoid i have already made a video on this topic okay so link is in the description box i have written question number five uh, a answer and then i have provided the link okay so you can uh, click the link and get access to that solution and similarly now let's uh question number b calculate the magnetic force between two long straight current carrying wires when currents are flowing in opposite direction so this is uh, i have al already made uh, another video on this topic as well uh, question number 5b if you check the description box 5b answer uh, and you can get the link there okay i have mentioned this way i have written 5b answer and then i have provided the link okay so uh, just watch those two uh, two videos then you're gonna have the answers of these two questions and now let's solve this one last one uh, this is um, you know Either you need to answer this question or you have to solve this one. You have all here. So let me take this question now. So here is the question. A wire of length 44 cm carries a constant of 10 ampere. Uh, sorry, carries a so here is the question we're gonna solve. A wire of length 44 cm carries a current 10 ampere bent into a square. So here uh, suppose this is bent into a square or a b c d so this is the square suppose a b c d right a b c d <coughs> so if total length of the wire is 44 centimeter then if it, if it is bent into a square of four side then this side gonna be 11 centimeter because 44 divided by 4 that's 11 centimeter right 
so here you can see uh, what we need to do find the you know magnetic field at center so let o be the center okay so let uh, the wire of length 44 centimeter 44 centimeter is bent is bent into a square into a square a b c d of side 11 centimeter o be the center of the center of the uh, square right so here if each side is 11 centimeter you know the distance from this wire so let me take this uh, this one as uh, m uh, that length must be 11 by 2 that means uh, you know 5.5 centimeter right so as it is a square so if you take this one and this one now you see here here what we're gonna apply suppose we have a conductor this is a conductor of length a suppose this is a conductor current carrying i of length a then its length is a then we have a point at its perpendicular bisector okay perpendicular bisector this distance is suppose d here this distance is d here then magnetic field at this point magnetic field at this point is uh, given by is given by uh, b is equal to mu naught i divided by 4 pi d uh, so let me write here just wait so magnetic field is uh, given by this expression just wait b is equal to mu naught i by 4 pi d into uh, 2 i say by 2 i say by root over a square plus 4 d square okay so how we have got this expression now uh, we, uh, we are not going to discuss this so let me write it properly just wait so here you see so let me take the direction in this way of current 10 ampere right so here om must be you know 11 by 2 centimeter so here this is the expression for the magnetic field at a point magnetic field at a point on the perpendicular bisector of a conductor okay uh, of length suppose a and uh, the point which is on perpendicular bisector that is suppose d distance away from the conductor then that is given by this expression right so we're going to use this formula and before that uh, here you see uh, let me tell you one more thing if you apply the right hand thumb rule here if you if you take the you know if you imagine that if you you are holding a b you are holding a b pointing your thumb of your right hand uh, towards the current along the current and remaining finger will warp around this uh, you know uh, conductor in this direction which will be going into the piece into the screen that uh, uh, screen of the device on which you are watching the video and uh, so similarly if you find the direction of magnetic field due to all the conductors then you're gonna get the same direction because the current is in the same part right you can get the same direction right so that's why the resultant uh, can be calculated just adding the magnitude of the field by each side so here uh, in this case uh, and uh, the side ad ad is here um, 11 centimeter right ad is 11 centimeter here let me take om as small d and ad as small a and let us use this formula so magnetic field magnetic field at o due to ad 
that's going to be given by b is equal to mu naught i by 2 pi d root over a square plus 4 d square and if we use that then what we're going to have and the value of uh, and the value of mu naught by 2 pi is nothing but uh, 2 into 10 to the power minus 7 tesla meter per ampere remember this okay this is very important okay we're gonna use this value here so 2 into 10 to the power minus 7 and here we have by d you know current is 10 ampere and uh, current is 10 ampere, 10 ampere d is here 11 by 2 and uh, root of our a square a square is here 11 square then 4 into d square d square is 11 by 2 square and here the unit will be tesla right so this is what we're gonna have now let me clean these things and let me do the rest of the calculation here so here you see so what we're gonna have here b is equal to so 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 because if you multiply 10 with this then you're gonna get 10 to the power minus 6 right 10 to the power minus 6 and uh, this is 11 by 2 that's why it's gonna be 2 by 11 uh, sorry this 2 will be here and here we're gonna have 11 into 11 square 121 so we can take 11 square common from this two, right if you take 11 square common then here within bracket we're gonna have 1 plus uh, 4 by 2 square that means that's gonna be again 1 right so here we have 4 that that is 11 by 2 is whole square so we're gonna have uh, you know 1 plus uh, 4 by 2 square that means 4 by 4 that's gonna be again 1 right that's gonna be again 1 so 1 by 1 right so square root of this 11 square that gonna be again 11 right so what we're gonna have here 11 into 11 and here we're gonna have root 2 so 2 into 10 to uh, that's gonna be 2 2 is a 4 here so that's gonna be 4 into 10 to the power minus 6 that's what we have got this was tesla so now uh, what we can do here uh, okay yeah, if you cancel this 4 by root 2 then you're gonna have 2 root 2 right then uh, let me go to the next piece uh, let me give a name here b1 okay this is b1 b1 what we have got 2 root 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 by uh, here we had 11 into 11 so it's gonna be 121 that's 121 that's what we have got this was tesla so as we have four sides this one this one and this one so that's why uh, magnetic field total magnetic field or you can say simply net magnetic field or simply write magnitude of of magnetic field at the center just four times this four into b1 that's gonna be eight root two into 10 to the power minus six by 121 so what we're gonna have so if you calculate this part you're gonna have 0 0.093 five zero one and so on zero one seven you can get this value and 10 to the power minus six so let me write it in standard form then it's gonna be just uh, you can keep the value up to this uh, second decimal place only 10 to the power minus eight tesla that's what you're gonna have so hope you have understood this so remaining questions will be solved in the next part. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.